Like, what does it actually feel like? Mm, well, it's not always the same. You know, I have, uh, I have good days, bad days, and on my good days, I can, you know, almost pass for a normal person. But on my bad days, I feel like I can't find myself. Um, sometimes I can see the words hanging in front of me and I can't reach them and I don't know who I am and, and I don't know what I'm going to lose next. That was a dramatic depiction of a patient suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that is the most common form of dementia. The exact cause of this disease is unknown, but the formation of deformed amyloid beta, amyloid beta 42, shows strong correlation to the onset. This is a brain cross-section that displays the plaques formed by amyloid beta-42. The first and third rows are controls, and the second and fourth rows are of Alzheimer's patients. The bright colors, like red and yellow, indicate a high concentration of plaques in the corresponding region. In our video, we'll talk about the synthesis of amyloid beta-42 from the amyloid precursor protein, or APP. To the left is amyloid beta-42, which is derived from APP on the right. APP undergoes a series of enzymatic cleavage by a class of proteins called secretases, such as gamma secretase and base 1 to form amyloid beta 42. Cleavage sites on APP determine the size and the properties of the amyloid beta. The functions of the other forms of amyloid beta are not well understood, but they are necessary in metabolic pathways and cognition. The process of normal cleavage of APP with alpha secretase and the aberrant cleavage with base 1 into amyloid beta 42 are seen in this figure. The video will focus on the cleavage process by base 1 and at atomic scale. This is a picture of the amyloid precursor protein from before. It consists of three polypeptide domains that extend outside of the cell, one transmembrane domain, and an intracellular domain. The small transmembrane peptide is called the amyloid beta peptide. As part of the full APP protein, it serves as an anchor to the cell. For normal APP function, the intracellular or extracellular domains may be cleaved and released to serve their function. When APP is cleaved by both gamma secretase and base 1, the green portion of the protein, the amyloid beta peptide, is released into the extracellular space. Base 1 stands for beta site of amyloid precursor protein cleaving enzyme. The protein has a transmembrane anchoring domain and the extracellular domain. This image shows a basic mechanism for the cleavage. The active site of base 1 is made up of two aspartate residues. The base 1 active site binds only to a methionine aspartate alanine sequence, which is found on the beta site region of APP. The carboxyl group of one of the aspartates converts a water molecule into a nucleophile. The nucleophilic attack occurs on the backbone carbonyl group of aspartate 672 on APP, which leads to the cleavage of the peptide. Binding to this region is modulated by a glycine residue on the 10S loop of base 1, which forms a hydrogen bond with the substrate. Application of these studies regarding the base 1 cleavage process have led to the exploration of different ways to prevent Alzheimer's disease. Base 1 knockout mice prevented the generation of amyloid beta from endogenous APP or human APP transgene. However, more study is necessary to further explore the observed behavioral defects seen in the transgenic mice. Additionally, immunization of amyloid beta 42 allowed a near-complete prevention and retardation of amyloid plaque progression for newborn and adult mice, respectively. The mice samples were immunized by injecting amyloid beta-42 antibodies. Another application of these studies is the potential to synthesize therapeutic drugs that target base-1 activity. Drugs that target the 10S loop or the base-1 active site are potential base inhibitors that could be used as Alzheimer's disease therapies. We would like to thank Dr. Jeff Savin and the chemistry department at the University of Pennsylvania and all the researchers whose articles we read to make this video.